what I normally do is if I wear a watch, I tuck it into my watch strap, the standing end into the watch strap, and I hold it still. So what we'll take with the working end and bring it around the back of the hand, cross it over like so. And we bring that round and then take that through there. So, on the back of the hand, take the left strand, cross it over the right, and take the working end. over the right and under the left. So, back around the front now. Take your working end and just follow along the line of the standing end. Okay, and just keep following it around until it's all doubled up. Like so. Right. Now that I've got two lines and everything, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make it smaller now, because obviously it's way too big for what I want. This is the chance now, if you wanted to turn it flat, so it looks like this, now's the time to do it. So what I'm going to do now, let's take the standing end, Hold that still and just pull that tight. And just keep pulling it tight until it gets a bit smaller. Now I've gone round and pull the second one now. Try and pulling it evenly. So now I've pulled it a bit smaller. I can now got plenty of um, line to, uh, to to go around a third time. Okay, so now I've got three lines on each. What I'm going to use now is just a, a pole, and then I can slowly put it all through carefully. Okay. I'm a bit even. I've got roughly my the right sort of shape I want. And then now what I want to do is work from the standing end, which is this one here. Slowly pull it tight until I've got it all flat again. Okay, so I'm going to show you first on the flat one. What you need to do is you've got them both, both the standing end and working end of, of met. So what I would normally do is that you can either seal this end and cut it off and no one really know. Or what I'd like to do is um, just secure it by putting a, a bit of twine with a, with a needle when I stitch through it, pull it all tight, just seize it all up and, and then it won't come undone. What I suggest with the, 
the round Turk's head. So you've got this part here, where you've got both parts coming in. Do the same on the inside. Put a stitch through the four strands and then cut them all off inside so you can't see it away. So you can't see it and it's all hid away. And um, then it's fine.